It certainly was. And that's uh, a little run through the domestic scene. A look now at three matches just before we come to the 1990 season in England, which was your farewell. The three very significant games, one against Australia, one against India, and then again against the same country. The Australians, the last test match in Melbourne, where New Zealand, well, New Zealand had you bowling the last over, <laughs> and you were bowling it to Michael Whitney and Craig McDermott. Well, we were never in the match, actually, uh, even at tea on the last day. I think Australia needed something like 120 runs to win the match with five or six wickets in hand, and one would thought uh, that they would have cruised it. But somehow we got back into the match uh, quite incredibly straight after tea, and Australia ended up defending and trying to save that particular match. And I had to bowl the last over, as you say, to Mike Whitney. And uh, Mike Whitney, if the, you'd excuse me in saying that uh, you know he wouldn't be one of the the top number of even batsmen in, in world cricket. Give but us he, a quick but, but, rating but, with Devin Malcolm. <laughs> I think I'd rather bowl to Devin because I got him out a few times, but I, I didn't get Mike out and uh, I'd bowled something like 30 odd overs in the day and it was the big effort that was required and uh, I needed to get that wicket uh, to win the match and square the series of course and we failed to do it, uh, but what an enthralling test match. It was a great test match and I was left on 373 test wickets at that time, which was equal with Ian Botham. And uh, it was disappointing not to have won that match, but the effort went in, but the reward wasn't quite there. That's pretty close. Yes, umpire Crafter has a good long look and says, I'm sorry, David, you're on your way. So Richard Hadley has struck. Oh, he's got him. Not bold, Richard Hadley. That was an incredible delivery. One almost got the feeling that Marsh was frozen to the ground. He hardly moved. The ball seemed to find its way to the bat and then scoot away and was well taken at third slip. Oh, he's, he's got him. He's out there behind. There's no doubt about that. That is a magnificent ball too. And he's gone. Well now. Richard Hadley has shouted, everyone has shouted out there. The letter is extremely disappointed. That's a bit closer, and he's been given by umpire Tony Crafter. That one cutting back into the right-hander. Hadley to continue. Gone! Last day breakthrough, and it's Hadley. This time the catch is taken. Uh, so Quest, he's got him, yes, that's the one they wanted. Ah! That's very, very close, yes. Peter Sleep uh, really didn't even bother to hang around. Ah! Gone, he's gone, he's caught behind. The great Hadley gets the edge. And have we got a test match? What a beautiful piece of bowling. Ah! Oh, that's very, very close, yes. Too close for comfort if you're an Australian. And Tony Dodder made is on the way and just for a change Richard Hadley has taken five wickets in an innings that's 32 times in test cricket and he's 13th against Australia